Thing. All I ever ask, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications down below. I did hear that some people said I'm putting videos on it because I usually put one or two out a day, usually two, and they're not getting notified. So you got to hit the bell down below the video, hit all, and then you should be notified every time I put a video out there. And if you think you've done it before, you might want to double check because uh, I'm hearing some issues out there. Now, today we're going to get into some Fed talk a little bit of crypto talk and some of my opinions. I just want to have a talk with everyone and discuss how I'm handling this stock crash, you know, how far we dropped. It's just been a wild ride. And you're going to find out in a little bit that I'm actually on the road. You should see tomorrow's video will give you a good idea of where I am at. And so some important, fun things going on. And we'll discuss that. You'll see that in tomorrow's video. So make sure you watch that one. I'll let you have more details at that time. And then you might even see me out and about if you're in the same area. And there's a lot of people at that place. So we'll find out. Now, before we get into all this and talk about everything, of course, if you have not done it yet, take advantage of this. Look at this, $7 in free Ethereum. All you got to do is use my link down below and sign up. And if you'd like $20 in free Bitcoin instead, use my link down below and trade $100 or more. So you can take advantage of this, but the easiest $7 in, in Ethereum, all you gotta do is sign up using my link. Seriously, it's the easiest, easiest seven bucks you're gonna get. And of course I do have the Moomoo link down below. Get yourself up to five free stocks. Make that six if you use my link and use my link down below. Put two grand in, you'll get a free share of Twitter and all five free stocks, but you don't have to put all two. Uh, two grand in to get some of those free stocks. So check out, hit the link, check out the details, take advantage of it. It's one of the easiest things you can do. And of course, we move right into this. I wanted to talk about this. I had this on here and we're going to come over here and take a look at this. This is the Fed and Powell. And he talked about this earlier in the week. And I wanted to bring this up because I thought it was a pretty big catalyst for some of the action we've seen over the last few days. Powell said following the increase that similar 50 basis point moves were likely to come at ensuing meetings so long as economic conditions remain similar to where we are now. On Tuesday, he repeated his commitment to getting inflation closer to the Fed's 2% target and cautioned that it might not be easy and could come at the expense of 3.6 unemployment rate. That is just below the lowest level since the 19, late 1960s. So to me, that was a, a scary little comment by him that it might come at the expense of unemployment. And we know if unemployment starts to go higher and people start losing their jobs, you're going to have more issues on the, on the economy, on the stock market. Could we see a recession? Now, I've already said this. I think they believe that the recession can be avoided, soft landing. I think uh, Goldman Sachs put it at a 38% chance of hitting a recession. Others believe there's going to be a recession. I'm in the latter camp. I believe we will see a recession by 2023. Could even happen this year. We're going to find out sooner than later. But uh, if we can avoid that a recession, the market could just absolutely rebound quickly. I did not sell out of my stocks. I didn't jump out and I'm all cash or anything like that. I'm actually putting more and more of my cash into the market. When you see these times, and remember, this is just my opinion of what I'm doing. This is entertainment only, but I'm sharing with you what I am doing. When I see these moments when the markets are way, way down, capitulation by many, many investors, you start to see the whales capitulating. You're seeing records amount of cash by the big funds out there. And I'd say over the last 20 years, they haven't had this much cash. That's the time I believe that you're going to see the most opportunity to set up a portfolio for the long term. And that is exactly what I am doing at this particular moment. I'm trying to buy in. Of course, everything's red. It almost doesn't matter what you bought except energy. Energy is still rolling up. I believe it will continue to outperform the S&P 500 through 2022 and hopefully 2023. We'll find out. I'm watching that one. Uh, we got to see how Russia and Ukraine make out. And of course, the EU, if they start banning that. From what I'm hearing, I think the EU is trying to be totally off all energy from uh, oil, gas, and coal by 2027. And that's the latest I've been reading from the EU, but they can start banning some of the oil right away. And uh, we'll find out how these things go, but I'm excited to see uh, how it plays out because energy in, in particular, and that's one of the ones I've been focusing on. I've been getting that part of my portfolio up over six digits worth, I'm talking 100 a uh, thousand or more. I got leveraged in there now as well. 
I'm going to continue to buy in there. I would like to get that up a lot more. I'd like to actually double my position very, very soon in energy. And that means rotating out to some other stocks. Now, the question of what other stocks am I going to rotate out of? I'm not sure yet. I'm going to rotate some of my crypto and that's some of the altcoins into Ethereum. I'm going to keep all the Ethereum money in a, or all the crypto money in crypto, but I'm moving it into Ethereum. I'm going to take tax losses on some of the ones that are down because almost all of them are down. And we're going to talk, we can talk about that right now. Uh, Ethereum is a big one for me. So we'll pull Ethereum up. So Ethereum, as we can see, just looking at a year chart here, you will see that back in July, we got down to 1700s. All right. Kind of reminds me of this right now. You know, you're in the 2000s, 2000s, it comes down 1900, where we're kind of looking at, then it kind of goes down a little bit, 1800, spikes back up just like we did as well. Uh, we hit 1700 earlier, I think last week, late last week. Then it kind of came back up to 2000 something. Then it had that dip again down to 1786. And then we had that run and we got all the way up to almost 4000. Then it came back down to the three to 2900. Then we had the next spike. I believe and I'm hopeful that we can see a little bit of a turnaround here in the short term because we also have for those following along with this and and this chart would show you think you would look at this day hey we're gonna have a run look if you actually zoom out a little bit we're still really high off of some of the prices for this but ethereum has been growing tremendously since 2020 and so some positives i see uh, i'm not saying the downside couldn't go lower but some of the positives i see with ethereum here we go ready eh, double mo's there hey uh here's the thing you see, the latest talk is that Ethereum could be having a test on, of the merge in June here. I think they get, get it set up at the last week of May, and they test during that first or second week of June to test uh, on a test net with the merge. And then I, if all goes well, they can run a couple tests. They could be doing this in August. And that you know by the end of August, we could see the official merge. Now, that's my hope. It doesn't mean it's going to happen. I was hoping it would be done before the end of June anyways. But now we know it looks like the soon. I think as soon as they could do it would be probably the end of August. And so I'm still hopeful that Ethereum has a lot of positives in it. And uh, the storage of value will become very, very interesting, especially after the merge. They go proof of stake. And I'm looking into maybe even staking on my own network and seeing if we can do that to get all the uh, the all the uh, rewards you get for proof of stake right now I'm doing it over at Coinbase but you do pay a little bit to use other platforms Coinbase there's a lot of other ones over there but I do have a link down in the description if you want to check that out they give you some free stuff as well and I am staking over there so uh, we'll see how they make out as we move forward so at this particular mo moment in time I still believe that Ethereum has what it takes to run up to people always say you changing your estimates for this no not at all for 2025 the end of 2025, I still think this Ethereum will hit between ten and thirty thousand dollars. I don't know where in there. I, think, I still think it has a great opportunity to get right in the middle somewhere. But the 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 minimum I see Ethereum with the merge being successful uh, this year would be that ten thousand dollar price by the end of 2025. The best, you know, the bull run I could see it getting up there to that thirty thousand. So you know, there's no guarantees out there. Crypto is very risky. Governments can regulate. There's a lot of issues going on right now. People are they. There are people out there that lost millions off of some of these cryptos that just got crushed. They basically went bankrupt. You know, bankrupt. They're down there to basically zero. And so very scary stuff out there happening. And so that's something to watch. But with Ethereum down where it's at for me, uh, I do feel like it's it's the time to start taking advantage of it. Uh, I have been buying little pieces. Now I'm going to start going up to full Ethereum's, uh, buying one Ethereum as I dollar cost average through some of this. So in case it does drop additional, I will be okay. And I'll continue to dollar cost average. You know, even if uh, it drops down to 1500 to even a thousand, I would continue to buy. But the more it drops, the more I'm going to buy. And at this point, I had dry powder on the sideline for Ethereum. And I was hopeful that we'd never get back down here, but here we are. So I'm going to continue what I did back in uh, I think we were doing this in May 2021, all the way up to that July, up through there as well, of buying one Ethereum for each you know week or two. So I'm going to get back to that if you're wondering. If you'd like to see everything I'm doing, I do got the Patreon link down below. Come on over and join us. And you can see my portfolio, everything I'm buying and selling. 
and you can just be along with this trip. And we have a private Discord. It's a really positive community. You can come join us and talk there. I'll be over there. I can answer some of your questions. That's my big update for the day. We'll see how things go. You know, it's the weekend coming up after the day. Have a good weekend. It's been a rough week again. And uh, hopefully the markets are a little bit kinder to us today. Uh, if you haven't done it, take advantage of the Moomoo link, get those free stocks, hit those deposit levels. And of course, if you do, go 2000 or more, you'll get a free share of Twitter and get over there to the Gemini. All you got to do is sign up. You're going to get seven bucks. Seriously, one of the easiest things to do. Use my link, do that. Seven dollars in free Ethereum. And if you want 20 in free Bitcoin, use my link. You trade a hundred dollars or more and you'll get that instead. So great opportunity. I'll see you over at the Patreon for those joining me. And like I always say, let's get out there and make some money.